What's up, YouTube? So, we back with another one. So, y'all see what's in front of me right now? Take a close look. Do y'all see what's in front of me? 25 kilos of pearls. I brought I brought a kilo of uh, of different colors, YouTube. Every, every one is a different color. This is 25 colors. From the dark green to copper. We got, listen. Before we even get into this, though. Since this is a video where we're going to be talking about pearls for a couple of minutes, I have to try to call the Pearl King. How could I do a video about pearls and not call the Pearl King? For those of y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about True Grit Customs. True Grit Customs, hands down, is the Pearl King paint job king of YouTube. Ah, that, listen, it, it just is what it is. You know, anybody who watches his paint jobs know that that man is serious with these pearls. So what I'm going to do, I'm about to try to call him and I'm going to see if I can get him to give y'all a tip. Any tip that he, he's willing to share with everybody. Hold on, let me get my phone, YouTube. Hold on a second. We're going to call True Grit. Hopefully answer the phone because he be out there in the woods. And we usually don't catch each other. Hold on a second. Hello? Hello? What up, man? What's going on? Listen, I'm doing a video right now on pearls. And you are in it. Um, I want you to give the people a tip. Give them something. Give drop, drop a gem. Don't give away all your secrets, okay, but just give these pearl. people a tip on pearls. Give them a tip that's going to help people step their pearl game up. Okay, okay. Well, we're shooting the pearl. Uh, one thing for sure, you should never use a dark pearl over a light base. Don't but use. You always, yeah, yeah. Never use a dark pearl over a light base. Okay. Uh, okay, and you can always use a lighter pearl over a darker base. That can go either way. Wait, don't use a dark pearl over a light base, but you can use a light pearl over a dark base. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes, you know, people people might want to do that. They may want to shoot. Like, I got a copper brown pearl, right? Somebody may say, I want to shoot that over white. I'm just throwing that out there. What oh, you think man. it'll do to it if they do that? Stick it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to leave all the little yeah. specks in it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to leave a lot of little specks in it. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, if you're good enough, you can get it You can get it done, but you will have to do a lot of stretch. Okay. Okay. All right, so, all right, I think I got it. I think the people got it, and we appreciate it. And I'm going to yeah, chop it up no with problem. you in a minute, man. Let me get on this video real quick. All right, no problem. All right, man, I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Hi YouTube, y'all heard it? Now, let's get to the video. I gave life to the game, it's only right, I got the right to be king. Hi YouTube, we back. So, again, let me thank my brother True Grit for sharing his knowledge with us. And now on to the pearl. So, as you see, there are 25 new colors here. I mean, it's just, it's too much to go through. But like I said, if you go to buycustompaint.com, there is a chart at the bottom of the website that shows each individual color with the name. Now, this is what I'm going to do because I know a lot of people going to ask. I'm willing to sell samples. Right? That way you don't know because there's a lot of different purples. I got at least like three different purples in here. There's two different browns. There's a copper brown. There's about three or four blues. There's some greens. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to sell samples for $1 a gram. Truthfully, you only need about five grams to do a sample. Five grams all you're going to need. So for $5. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to cost you $5 shipping. So $5, $5 shipping, $10 will get you five grams of any color that I have. Any color, any color on this table. After new 25, five uh, ten dollars will get you five grams shipped to your door. 
Um, or the prices are on there. You may just want to buy 25 grams, but let's just say you want to try different colors. Then you do that and you only pay the five dollars once. Even if you buy, let's say, five colors, I'm only going to charge you five dollar shipping. Is that fair? Of course, it's fair. So I do business. YouTube, I'm always trying to be fair. So, yes, one dollar a gram for any colors if you want to try it, if you want to sample one dollar for one dollar per gram for any color that I have. But here's the catch. You got to pay me through Cash App. Now, I know everybody does not have Cash App, so I will leave a link in the comment below to where you can download Cash App. It's free, people. You got to do it. PayPal's going to kill me for that little $10. So I'm going to tell y'all right now, we're doing Cash App if you want a sample. If you want a sample, I don't care if you want a sample of all 25 colors, I'm only going to charge you $5 shipping. All right? So that's what y'all could do. Cash App me, and we'll make it happen. All right. Now, let's talk, let's talk about pearls for a little bit. I get a lot of emails about pearls, right? How many pearls, how much pearls do I need for my car? How much do I need? How much am I going to need to paint my car? This is what I'm going to tell you guys. For the average paint job, the average size car, 25 grams is, is enough. It will give your car the pearl effect without you taking over your base coat it, it, well, it depends on the color but 25 grams is enough to give you the pearl effect now I have people who call who, who reach out to me and they say 25 grams will seem like enough give me 50 I'm gonna sell you whatever you ask for if you ask me 50 grams I'm gonna sell you 50 grams if you ask for 100 grams I'm gonna sell you 100 grams but I'm also going to tell you that I think it's too much. But, you know, people do what they want to do. I'm only going to mention it once. The thing about it is, I suggest to everybody that calls, everybody that gets in touch with me, I suggest do a test panel first. Do a little speed shape first. Right? Now, you can get speed shapes off Amazon. I mean, if, if you can't find any on there, I do have speed shapes for $2.50 a piece, but you can probably find some on Amazon, whatever. If I find some, I'll leave a link for you guys below also. I'm also going to leave a link to True Grit Customs channel because you guys need to understand that that man knows what he's talking about when it comes to pearls. So, I suggest to everybody, do a spray out. And see if you're going to get the effect that you want. Because a lot of times we all have colors in our head, right? Everybody has a color in their head. You might say, you know what? I might want to do, let's just say, a yellow with a, with a blue pearl. Let's just say that, right? In your mind, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to do a yellow. But, but do you know what it's going to look like in the end? I don't know, right? The best way to see it, other than assume what it's going to look like, is to do the spray out. Because you don't want to buy all the material for your car and it not come out the way you want. Then you're looking at me. You're like, oh, Grant, what you do to me? That's what I'm telling you. Always do a spray out first. You do the spray out, then you'll see, okay, you know what? I don't like this effect. Oh, I'm going to need more than this. You know, measure out, see what you're going to do. Because honestly... For spray outs and things like that, usually about 5% of what you mixed out will kind of give you the same thing if you were mixing up um, a sprayable gallon. So I say sprinkle a little bit. Pearl usually goes a long way, right? You guys have seen me time and time again mix up pearls in my videos to do the little shapers. And you see I put a little bit of pearl in there and then it all changes color. And you're going to get it. Now, hold on. Let me grab the speed shape so, so we can talk for a minute. Hold on. All right, YouTube. So, my regular viewers, you guys probably recognize these speed shapes. Now, this is my perfect example. Now, you see this? Now, you can see the color of the pearl, right? Now, this is over white. It has a nice effect. Not too much. 
but this is over white. Now, believe it or not, this is the same color shot over black. This is the same, the same color, right? I think this is the apple green pearl. Now, if you look at it over white and over black, two totally different colors. But this is what I'm saying. You have to be careful about what color your base is going to be versus the color of the pearl. And the best way to figure that out is to do a speed shape. Because this might be what you want. This might be what you want. And just changing the base coat made all the difference. Another example. This was another popular one. Same color. Same color, right? So this is over a white base. This is over a black base. Same color pearl. Different base. Now, I don't know if you guys are getting a glare. If you are, I apologize. But don't blame me. Blame the old my clear. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love that clear. Okay, so this is a red pearl over silver. Now, you guys probably can't see it. I can see it, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I don't know if it's because of the glare or it's just very light. Now, what happened with this one, I feel like I didn't put enough pearl in it. I can see the effect in person, but it's not hitting like I want to. So I need to put a little bit more. I was just, I didn't want to wash out the silver. So I was a little conservative on this one. But this is what I'm saying. You guys have to experiment with it. it, it I'm telling you, this is the best way to do it. Like I said, a dollar a gram, any color you want, as many colors as you want of this series, right? So this was the gold glitter pearl over black. I love how this came out. But this is the gold glitter pearl over black. That's not a dollar a gram. This was a red pearl over yellow. And this was a red pearl over black. Um, it kind of looks purple. But this was red over black. So that's my point. You don't know what it's going to do until you shoot it. You gain a little experience and you're able to know, okay, this is definitely going to turn the color. This might be just enough. What I'm saying is before you tackle your car, do it. Now, another question people ask me, can I mix pearls? Can you take this color pearl and this color pearl and put them on the car and see both colors? The answer is yes. How do you do it? You have to measure out exactly the same amount for each one. Follow what I'm saying? If you're going to do it, let's say you're going to do, I, I'm just going to pick a number, I'm going to say 10 grams. If you're going to shoot 10 gram of pearls, let's say on your motorcycle, and you want to you want to make your own flip-flop, you want your own combination, right? So you want the apple green and the purple. What you're going to have to do is take 5 grams of the green, 5 grams of the purple. If you go too much on one, that's the dominant color. So let's say you put six grams of purple and four grams of the green, you're going to see more purple than green. Sounds simple, right? But this is why this takes time to get a beautiful paint job. It becomes easier with experience, but the bottom line is that it's not as simple all the time as it seems. Because very quickly, now you may like the end result. You may dump a bunch of pearl. Right? Like this was a white base. But let's say I wanted my car to stay white. Then this would be all wrong. If I didn't mind the color that it turned into because it gave it a nice effect. This is a beautiful color. So if I wanted it like that, I'd be okay with it. But if I wanted my car to stay white and have just a slight effect, that's too much. But like I said, it can backfire like in this one. It's not enough. So this one, I can see it in person. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's a red pearl over this. But I feel like it's not enough because silver, you got to kind of put a little bit on there in order to get it to go. Like I said, with silver, um, I would say anywhere from like 30 to 35 grams maybe is what I would say. Anywhere from 30 to 35 grams 
over silver and it should be it should be good but like I said this is some of the things that you gotta try out you gotta experiment you gotta see you might not even like it that's the other reason why it's important to do spray outs because you may not like it it may look better in your mind than it does when you execute it in real life Listen, people do that all the time. You, listen, you, you know, some people build their whole car in their head. And when we see their cars, their work of, their work of art, it's like, wow, that's different. You know, it's, it's just what it is. Some things look better in mind, you know. That's why you got to stay away from, you know, Instagram girls. <laughs> anyway, this is what I'm saying, YouTube. Very easy. All right. As far as obtaining samples but please take my advice get some speed shapes whether you get them from me or I'll leave a link so you can get some if you want but get some speed shapes and just play with it watch how much you're doing it look at the volume that you're putting in um, in relation to how much you know clear you mixed up because you can mix it in clear you can mix it in inner coat but be careful, people. That's all I'm saying, all right? So hopefully, I, I just wanted to make a quick video. I got a lot of videos where I've mixed it, but if you guys want to see some more spray outs, they would do it. It's just, it was 25 colors. I, I couldn't even decide which one I wanted to spray out. Like, I like this one. This is a rosy red. It's kind of hot, though, but as I'm saying, people, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy this paint thing. Pick a color. Be creative. Go to True Grit's channel. Understand. Look at that man's pearl game. That man mixes. He after this video go up, he may say, "Yo, I need all 25." And 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 believe it. If he take 25 colors and put 25 colors on one car, it'll still look good. That's a talent. We all don't possess that talent, and I understand. But that's what I'm telling you guys. For those of us that don't possess the talent, get speed shapes. Try it out. See how you like it. See, like this one? This one in particular. I like this one. This is a blue with a red pearl. I like it. I like this one. But um, they're all different. But a lot of these, like I said, these are the same color. These are the same color. And you see the difference that just over the base. So... That's it, YouTube. I'm not going to talk your ear off, but like I said, if you guys want to buy a sample of Pearl, any color off the chart, that's on buycustompaint.com right now, buycustompaint.com, any color that's on the chart right now, $1 a gram plus $5 shipping. No matter how many you buy, I'm only going to charge you $5 shipping. So, 20 um we do have them. Now, normally, I sell these in 25-gram bags, but I'm offering it to you guys because you guys really do support. You guys come through for the videos. You guys, and especially the guys that hit the thumbs up button, I appreciate it. All my new subscribers, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But everybody that comes through video after video, that's why I'm offering these samples. One dollar a gram. All right, YouTube? So on that note, I'll see you on the next video.